What's up everybody, Anthony here, SpecialtyMotorCars.net. Behind me you're gonna see a really unique car. Um, I'll probably use words that people don't describe when describing this Buick Park Avenue, or pe people won't agree with, I should say, when I say rare and hard to find. I'm gonna get the keyboard warriors out there to be like, oh, they made so many hundreds of thousands of those. Good luck finding one, okay? You go on eBay, you go on cars.com. These cars do not exist this clean with this kind of miles anymore. Um, they just don't. These cars were hard to find 10 years ago. They're getting harder to find today. And this is a beautiful 58,000 mile 2004 Buick Park Ave Ultra. 58,000 mile Arizona car, absolutely stunning. Super excited to show it to you. It's got some really cool little features. Let's get into it. And here she is. Now, before I get too deep into this video, I'm already going to warn you, folks. Two things. One, I absolutely adore this car, which should be a given. But two, uh, I am, I think, mid-cold. Um, so my voice is a little strained. I really didn't even want to be out here doing this, but it's a beautiful day. It's April 1st, April Fool's Day. And we actually have snow on the way. So we're going to get rain for the next few days. So I wanted to get this car done. I haven't got a car for sale in, a, in a, like two weeks. So I'm due to get a car done and out to be offered to you folks. Anyways, so just pardon that. If I sound hoarse or a little rough, um, forgive me. But that's my dedication right there. So here it is, a beautiful 2004 Buick Park Avenue Ultra. Now, if you're a GM front-wheel drive 3800 series gearhead, you know, like my boy Big Al, Big Al's Bike and Auto, um, you know how unique these cars are. You know how rare these cars are. When I started the video off, I kind of rashed into those keyboard warriors because I know I'm going to get them. These cars really don't exist anymore. Um... When I used to work for the car dealership I worked at before I went out on my own some years ago, um, for me to find these back then when they were seven, eight, ten years old, they didn't exist. That 03 to 05 era Ultra, I mean, even Park Avs in general are hard to find. But this 03 to 05 Ultra, the last of these cars with these beautiful 17-inch wheels, you just don't find them clean. And I remember when I used to get them back then, I'd sell them like crazy as soon as I got them because the people who loved them, these traditional Buicks, loved the heck out of them. The one Achilles heel, we'll say, of those cars back then was rust. And rust destroyed these cars. That's why you don't see these things in any northern climates. Um, and this car, I shipped this car. This car came from Arizona. I think it was uh, Phoenix or Prescott. I forget what city it was in one of the major uh cities in arizona absolutely rust free um this car is cleaner you know overall cleaner than the 2003 i had sold a couple months back last fall um that was a 03 with almost the same miles that was a one owner california car nowhere near as clean as this one uh, so i'm really excited to have this car uh, because I just, I don't get this opportunity often. Uh, it's finished in a beautiful silver, metallic silver. Another, <laughs> <there's some, laughs> I'm going to warn you, there's some unique things on this car that are love it or hate it. But I absolutely adore every bit of it. Now, some of you are going to go in the comments and be like, oh, the portholes and this and that. Well, the portholes on these cars are factory. These 03 to 05 Ultras all came with these Venta ports on these cars and these are actually holes they're, they're not just stickers they're actually holes in the fenders those are factory uh those chrome wheels factory super hard to find those wheels that aren't corroded or mangled beautiful set of wheels um there are some aftermarkets on this car that you know me i like the gingerbread as i call it cloth top being one of them uh it's got a beautiful like kind of a gray denim excuse me cloth top 
and is in phenomenal shape. The stitching, everything around the rear window, you know, just real, real clean the way they did this. That's a love it or a hate it thing. It's also got chrome rocker panels. I like putting those on my town cars. Probably wouldn't have put them on this car, but you know what? It goes well. It's silver. They blend really well. And then it's also got the pillar post trim here, which I actually think looks pretty good on this car because the windows are framed out in that chrome trim. Now, one of the things that you're probably either going to, probably most will hate, but I'm going to leave it up to the next person to do whatever they want to do with it because I don't want to jinx the uh, previous owner's dog. But somebody obviously loved their little pooch a lot. So much that they had a little mural painted on both sides uh, with a small pinstripe going down uh, both sides of the car. Um, at first, you know, so let me go back. I've bought a few cars out of Arizona before and I have seen people, oh, I got a truck coming up here. I have seen this type of pinstriping done before on cars out of Arizona. And usually what it is, is, you know, a mural like this where you get, you know, rocks and cactuses and then a pinstripe. Um, so obviously somebody loved their dog a little bit more than cactuses, but it's not uncommon to see. I've had a couple Cadillacs that were pinstriped that same way. So just thought that was cool. Um, if you're not a dog person, it's painted on, hand painted on, so I'm sure it will come off, but I am not taking it off because my mother loves it and... My luck is I'll take it off and the person's dog will probably die the next day. <laughs> um, but anyways, <clears throat> going back into this car, this car was obviously loved, cherished, garaged. Um, for the car to be this clean, this fresh, with the top like this, um, it was definitely garaged and loved. So no question about it. Um, and this is just, it's something that's really hard to find nowadays. Um, these cars, 2004, the car's 20 years old. Um, these weren't, the, these were, I think they were popular cars. It's just, they didn't sell a ton of them. You know, you see a lot of Buick Centuries, Le Sabres, but these Park Avs, especially the Ultras, hard to find. So that's the overall roundabout of it. Now we'll go around. I'm going to tell you, uh, point out a few little nicks and chips, and it's all minor stuff here and there. Uh, nothing real crazy. You know, a few little... Uh, stone chips here and there. I remember there was a couple, yeah, right here on the trunk. There's two. <sighs> Looks like a little chip right there on the corner. Beautiful paint. Like I said, beautiful top on this car. Uh, it's got the belt line there, the old school. Um, this might be for like OnStar or something, the antenna. Probably what it's for. The edge of the doors are in nice shape. A little minor chip there. Maybe a little guy right there. Door moldings are in nice shape. Now, one thing I will say, um, when I got this, there was a ton of wax, like, just built up. And even though I went around it a million times, I still, every now and again, see a little, few little spots here and there. Uh, so they loved it enough to wax the heck out of it. Um, four brand new BF Goodwrench, um, Advantage controlled tires mounted on these beautiful chrome, glistening chrome wheels. No pitting, no corrosion. Um, that is a real weak spot with these cars is the wheels would corrode and the bottom of the doors would rust. I'll show you when I do the interior where the doors would normally rust on these cars, on the northern cars, but very, very clean wheels, beautiful wheels. And I did put those tires on. Um, they're a high mileage tire, like a 75,000 mile tire. I've seen these cars with the BF Goodwrenches, with Michelins. It had Michelins when it came in, but the price difference, the mileage difference, I've seen more of them with these BFGs, so I elected to put the BFGs on it. Um, obviously, windows are tinted. Um, not super dark. I mean, you can see through the car. Um, you know, I don't know my tint scales, but I'd say maybe 30, 35%. <coughs> Excuse me little scuff right there uh, door edge is in good shape yeah maybe a few little minor marks right there a couple light scratches right on the edge of the mirror there's that little pooch chrome rocker panels great shape again the venta ports they're not portholes they're called venta ports um this is a replacement windshield i know it's not an original windshield 
but it does have two little stone chips that have been filled um not cracked or anything like that so and they're on the passenger side uh the rest of the windshield's in good shape i'll show you this cool little setup they got um again pointing to the direction of how well somebody loved this car a little sunshade there uh, again beautiful chrome wheels brand new tires uh, it even has all the little caps on the lugs real common for those things to start going missing but just absolutely stunning wheels you just can't find those wheels like that uh, excuse me that clean come down the hood fender headlights are nice and clean bumpers in nice shape get the chrome on the top here it does have let's see a little bit of kind of like faint spider webbing here maybe from some pressure being put on the bumper might have like kind of spider webbed the paint a little bit and then you can see a spot here where it looks like it bumped into maybe a license plate screw or something uh the 0305 ultra specific grill to the, that body style they did not have stand-up hood ornaments on the ultras they had the you know this real aggressive looking um wide tooth grill a little bit of a chip right there on the edge of the hood these hoods are aluminum hoods and it was real common to see these things also start to corrode right here on these edges absolutely no corrosion on the edge of this hood a couple little faint scratches there Coming around to the driver's side headlight, nice and clean. It does have a very, very light scratch right there. Come up at the top of the hood. I already pointed that one out. It might be another, you know, random little stone chip. Nothing too, too crazy, really. Come around to the windshield on this side. It does have the heads up display. Real cool uh, option in these GMs. Works perfectly. Obviously, the previous owner I think was a retiree out of Illinois that lived in Arizona. Um, either that or maybe Snowbird. I don't know if they Snowbird. Um, but this car really never spent time, even, uh, you know, cleanliness. And just, you know, I think if I remember right on the Carfax, there was no time spent um, in Illinois. So I'm assuming someone probably relocated, was probably a firefighter at one point. Here, these vented ports again, real cool because those are actual holes in the, in the fenders. Um, and beautiful chrome wheels, just absolutely perfect wheels on this car. I keep stressing about these wheels, but these wheels, even on the one I had from California, had a few little minor pit marks in the pot marks in those you know nooks and crannies. Come across the top. Again, real clean cloth top on this car. All around this rear window, shows real well. Even has a little tag on it still. This mirror is in great shape. And these are directional mirrors. I don't know if you can kind of see that there. You see a little faint halo of the directional. Again, there's a pooch hanging out. My mother absolutely adored this. She doesn't like sedans. She's an SUV driver, and she's like, oh, my God. And she doesn't even have a dog. She's like, I want that on my car. I'm like, Ma, you can have this Buick if you want it. She's like, no, 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 I need it on my Lincoln. Chrome lockers down here. Door edges are in nice shape. A little bit of a mark right there on the edge. Um, you know, real clean little minor guy right there. Real little spot right there. I mean, you can see see the wax inside these handles and even in, a little bit inside that. There was wax all over. Every jam was just jammed with wax. And real clean. Look at those wheels. The wheels on this car. I mean, just beautiful chrome on this car. <laughs> on the quarter here. Get the Ultra. So the regular Park Avs would say Park Avenue here. Actually, <clears throat> it's kind of interesting. There's no spot on this car anywhere on the outside that is that says Park Avenue. The non-Ultra cars would say Park Avenue here. Then they say Buick 
in the in the back bumper but there's nowhere where it says buick park ave ultra um the ultra car said ultra the non-ultra car said park ave come up over the deck lid little bug <laughs> the tail lights are in great shape the tri shield logo here this does have the rear parking sensors Buick insignia and then the ultras also came with let me get down on my knees here dual exhaust stainless steel tips i mean you could just see how clean the bottom of this car is it looks like there's googly eyes looking at you <laughs> uh, but super super clean underneath this car oh man all right i think i went through around the whole car um we'll get onto the inside if i forgot anything please bear with me um i am ill but not mentally ill just <laughs> physically ill 2004 buick park ave ultra all right let's jump onto the inside all right now we're going to go on to the inside of this whoop 2004 park ave um, and buick really didn't hold back any stops on these cars they made these so plush and so luxurious uh, especially these ultras they came in a few different setups this is the six passenger front bench you could get it with a center console full center console so it was almost like two buckets with a writing tray um, they came up with a heads-up display. You could get these option with a sunroof. This one does not have the factory sunroof. Uh, I'm trying to think what else these cars came with. Heated seats, all that stuff. Memory seats was pretty typical. Your concert sound. The Ultras came with these big, um, like, brushed aluminum uh, sill plates. Wood steering wheels. The wood was, I think, a different tone in the Ultras. You have the embroidered uh, headrests. You know, just neat little things that the Ultras came with that you don't see on the regular park abs. Um, but real clean, uh, gray leather on the inside. I think there was only two colors for these Ultras. This gray and then that shale color, which was common with the GM Cadillac lineup. Uh, you have the door pockets here, your window switches, memory unlock, concert sound too. Now, I was mentioning <clears throat> these cars were known for rusting and where these cars rust it's kind of a design flaw is right here in the lower part of the door because what happens is if you look at this gasket this gasket is almost like a v-shaped and it's screwed to the bottom of the door now even the screws aren't corroded usually you see the screws start to corrode and just stuff gets stuck in there and it'll start rusting the bottom of the doors out on these cars very very common even on a car that's relatively clean otherwise you start to see that uh, this car has absolutely no rust in any of those jams clean door jams all the way throughout nice soft weather stripping a little bit of wear right here probably from getting in and out of the car uh, but overall the leather in this car is in really great shape nice soft leather um, does have some creases and wrinkling you know but it's not dried out like you know you'd expect maybe from arizona it's nice and soft and supple uh leather articulating headrests with the buick tri shield dash pad great shape got that heads up display we'll show you all this stuff a little bit more in depth there wood trimmed wheel all the carpeting is in great shape does have a auxiliary port right there on the front of the seat come around to the back back same thing it was really just a poor design on buick's part where these things would start to rust in here and you can see absolutely no rust throughout again all the gaskets and everything in real nice shape um the doors door panels nice and clean you know not all scuffed or scratched up has a little auxiliary ports back there side airbags Back seat is nice. It has the rear um, map pockets. And again, carpeting in here is real, real clean all the way throughout. Back seat, again, it's just super soft, not dry. These the leather in these would not hold up if these weren't garage cars. Even the rear headrests, I believe, articulate. And the center 
console here, a little cup holders, little console, and then a pass through to the trunk. You know, not over the top luxurious, like heated seats or massaging seats like the Cadillacs had, but very conservatively luxurious for Buick. And, and you know, the audience that they had for these cars was their go-to audience. Unfortunately, after 2005, when they ended these, the Centuries, the Regals, the Sabres, um, they alienated their audience. They still, they offered the Lucerne and the Lacrosse, but I, back in the day when I sold these cars at, you know, seven to 10 years old, I had people who would trade in their Lucerne or their Lacrosse that they had Park Aves, and they would buy an older Park Ave that was a low mileage car for me and trade in their newer Buick um, just because they didn't love them as much as they loved these cars. Again, yeah, nice and clean throughout the bottom of the doors here. Like how they tuck the top here. I mean, just perfectly fit top. There's no pieces on the doors like you see some of the Cadillacs or the Lincolns have. Uh, it's really just the top, top part of this car. And this car has a real natural body line here to actually take a top and actually look pretty good. I know there's going to be people who don't like the look of the top. And I didn't really see a lot of these cars with tops. Um, this was kind of a Cadillac and Lincoln thing, but I really like this. It's like a kind of a gray denim -y, you know, kind of jean denim look, but gray. Uh, real nice. Anyways come back in the back seat here again nice and clean throughout leather nice soft supple i mean i really don't think many back seat passengers and it doesn't look like there was many dogs back here or any dogs because there's no claw marks or scratch marks so if the dog did ride in this car maybe the dog is already dead maybe that was just in memory of the dog i don't know but i'm not gonna find out but if the dead dog did ride in this car, it was in a pet carrier because no way. You usually you see claw marks on the door panels. Just real clean. I feel like I'm rambling on and I, I thought this was gonna be a short video because I don't feel well. I feel like it might be a long one and I apologize. Just really excited to show this car off. It's so nice, so clean, and I don't get a lot of these park elves. Um, dashboard seating for six all the way across has a real low center hump, um, so you can fit six across really comfortably. Heated seats, got the Concert Sound 2 CD cassette combo, steering wheel controls, um, dual zone climate control with the passenger slide over here. Real neat part of these Buicks. And just real clean carpeting. Got that ultra sill plate. Uh, dual power with um, four-way rear lumbar. You know, just real soft, beautiful leather. Real, real nice throughout. All right, well, I already have the hood pop, so usually I jump in first and tell you I'm gonna pop the hood, but I already got a pop, so I'll show you what's going on under here. 3.8 liter Series 2, supercharged, um, <coughs> excuse me, V6. Real clean, again, Arizona car, no rust, no corrosion. You usually see all that stuff down there, all rusted out on these cars just super super clean the the abs box the lines um everything is just so well cared for on these cars real real nice under hood again these are aluminum hoods there's no aluminum corrosion anywhere on the underside usually it starts under here works its way to the outside so if you're looking for a nice clean ultra this is the car i i if you ask me well when are you going to get another one I, maybe i don't like the top or i don't like the chrome i don't know i've had two this one and the white one 
in any recent time but before that i hadn't had one in, in a long 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 time so all right now let's jump behind the wheel all right, behind the wheel of the park app, this is when I like to show you what I got for keys, books, and stuff like that. Uh, in this case, I do have all the original PK3 Buick keys, the valet key, and then the numbered uh, key fobs to recall the uh, memory seat positions. Start this car up. Starts right up, nice and quiet. Real, just nice inside these cars. Comfortable, um, supple, you know, nice feels on the leather. You get the stitched leather, um, all the steering wheel controls. Everything is really laid out nicely in these cars. You have all the gauge information cluster there. A uh, real cool thing with this Arab Buick is if you put the radio on uh, and you go volume up, you see that? See the knob go up and down? Real calm with this Arab Buick. I always thought that was the coolest thing. Oh, forgot to show you. I do have the books here, a couple little pamphlets, uh, but the original 04 Park Avenue owner's manual in there. Um, I told you about the heated seats, heads up display. You can adjust that here. You can actually see it. Where is it? There it is. Heads up display. The other thing that's really cool with this car, and I don't know if this is an automotive accessory or somebody was just really handy with mini blinds, <laughs> but it's got these two pull across sunshades that Velcro right in the middle to protect the interior from any kind of heat. <laughs> I just thought that was real neat. Never seen that before um, in my life, really. It's just, again, little things like that make me love buying these cars and finding little just things like that nice clean gas cap area uh inside the trunk i do have all four original floor mats rears fronts cargo net uh even a buick a fitted buick um cargo liner tr tr like trunk liner it even has a buick insignia the little tri shields you know, just real neat. I, I didn't even know that. I've never seen that before. Uh, must have been like maybe a dealer accessory. A little bit of staining on the pa driver's front. Pretty nice passenger front. Rear is obviously a real clean. Cargo net. All that good stuff. Close the trunk down. Let's take it for a spin. All right, and here we go. I absolutely love driving these cars too because, um, you know, I'm not much for front wheel drive, but... They just drive, I don't know, they drive like a big car. Although I think technically this would be considered mid-size because your full size when these were out in the 90s would have been your Roadmasters and stuff like that. But they got that big car feel with the big center car, um, you know, the front bench. Um, just a real nice setup on these Buicks. Uh, this one shifts nice and smooth. So. Um, as far as service work, uh, what we do to this car, uh, oh, there goes my water. Um, as far as service work, did an oil change, uh, also did a transmission fluid service, just dropped the pan, did a pan filter. Um, battery is like new, it was just replaced right before I got this car, um, so that's only a few months old. Um, did all the 3800 series, typical 3800 series things uh, to this car, like the preventative stuff, like the replace the plastic coolant elbows um, with the uh, metal aluminum elbows, did valve cover gaskets, intake manifold gaskets. Um, obviously when we did the tranny pan, um, did that gasket as well. Um, let me think, four new tires, brakes on it were real nice, chunky brakes. Um, the rear air shocks all in great shape. Everything works, funk, you know, correctly. Um, this car, it didn't need a ton. It was just, you know, little preventative things here and there. The tires on it were older Michelins. So I put, like I said, the new BF Good wrenches on. Um, oh, I found when I got this car in, this car has a lower valance, like on the bottom of the bumper. Real kind of, kind of straight down valance. Uh, that was missing off this car. And it's not uncommon to see that. 
I remember back in the day, you know, you'd, you'd hit a drive over like a curb when you went into park or something like that, or a parking, um, one of those parking things that you, you know, parking stops on the tires. You know, you catch a low or high one, you'd rip that right off. Um, this one was missing. There was no damage to the bottom of the car, but it was just missing. It, it clips on with some screws. Um, I found a new old stock, new in the GM box um, one. And I mean, that was just pure luck that I found something like that. So it's got a brand new front balance on it. Uh, you know, just little stuff, I guess. Um, nothing too, too crazy on this car. Uh, but she cruises out nicely. I've put, I don't know, three or 400 miles or so on this car. Um, let's put the window up. I mean, you don't even have to like thrash on this car for that supercharger to kick in. Oh, the other thing I did is a transmission mount or a front motor mount. Kind of common on these cars too. Uh, just like that Lucerne. You can see that heads up display. I don't know if you can see that. I can. Also, when they did the um, intake gaskets, I know they dumped all the coolant out of the radiator, and as much as they could, they didn't do a, a technical flush, uh, but they dumped as much coolant out of it and um, refreshed the coolant um, and did a thermostat at the same time. Yeah, but just nice, clean, quiet. Set the cruise, cruise engages. Goes down the road and does exactly what it's supposed to. So we'll wrap it up here. I am going to bring it back to my shop. I did shoot some video when I had it on the lift. So I'm going to show you that um, just after I end this, show you how clean this car is underneath. But I just want to wrap it up and, you know, kind of just reiterate the, the bullet points on this car. 04 Park Ave Ultra, Arizona car, super, super clean, rust-free car. 58,163 miles as of now. Um, pretty well equipped you know like I said it doesn't have the factory sunroof uh, but it's got the heads-up display um, the chrome wheels which I think were standard um, heads-up display I don't think was standard and it's got the six passenger seating rather than the uh, buckets with the console that's a plus or a minus depending on who's out there looking for a car like this anyways 58,000 miles super super clean serviced ready to go any questions give me a call 978-930 1004. I appreciate everybody for watching. And again, I apologize for my voice and hacking away throughout the video. Uh, hopefully by the end of the week. After we <coughs> after we get a little bit of snow, um, we will be in the clear. It's gonna be in the 60s after that, so we're not even really worried about the snow. But all the plows and shovels are put away. Uh price on this car, $13,995. Um, again, any questions, if you need help shipping, you can go to my website, specialtymotorcars.net. Check out all the still pictures of this car. Uh, I don't know if you can see that heads up display. Where is it? Why can I see it? In the, oh, there it is by the license plate. I think that's so cool. Um, the uh, heads up display, that was like a thing back in the, in the GM front wheel drive you know, turn of the 2000s days. It was real cool, and I think it's starting to make it come back now. I think that's real neat, the, um, the heads-up display. Anyways, 978-930-1004, specialtymotorcars.net, and uh, let's get back to the shop and show you that undercarriage shot. All right, bottom side of the Park Ave Ultra. Show it to you while I got it up on the lift still, which is finishing up service. Uh, just put on four new tires. Yes, I will peel those stickers off. Uh, but we did just put these tires on BFGs um, for this park app. But real clean Arizona car. Dusty, not rusty. You know how I like them. Uh, these, these park abs, I mean, these things rotted out to death around here uh, where I am in New England. And uh, it's, these are uncommon to see on the road anymore. So to have this nice clean one from 
Arizona is quite a treat. Uh, as far as service work, what do we just do to this car? Uh, did an oil change, did full tires, obviously. Uh, did transmission service to the car, thermostat. Uh, a few little things, nothing too, too crazy on this one. This one's a really well-loved car, um, and it shows throughout. So I just wanted to show you the bottom before I take it down. We're going to get it detailed, although you don't know that because you've seen the video already detailed, but this is pre-us cleaning it. So I'll just get it down and clean. But any questions, 978-930-1004. Thanks, everybody, for watching.